after losing the last three games, we return to the life of the Millwall career mode in an attempt to salvage this season once again. My name is The Gaming Blake, and welcome back to the Millwall career mode. Before we start, I uh, just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the support on yesterday's WWE episode. Um, I know it was only the pilot episode, it's the first time, but you guys smashed the like button on that one, and it was one of my most viewed videos to date, so I'm grateful for that. That series will be up once a week, every Monday for now, but I'm attempting to try and make it twice a week, one on Monday, one on a Friday, depending on how popular you guys find it. So you guys want to get involved, um, be sure to get involved. Remember, you can send me your creations to hashtag DumpSquad, or follow me on Twitter, and if you don't have the game, I can help you create a character, because that was a problem for most people yesterday, which I spoke to them about. But we can work around it. If you guys want to be a part of the series, don't feel like you're restricted because you don't have the game. I'm always available to work around that problem. Anyway, for focusing on today's episode, we're back in FIFA 16. And we are playing against Coventry City today. We need to get back into winning ways. So we've gone with the strongest lineup possible. Only one change to the last lineup I made, which is Byron Webster coming in for Reefle Shammer, who's had a series of bad performances of, as of late. And Oyedema keeps his place over Ryan Taylor for now. There are still options to bring on. There are some solid options. But right now, we're in a bit of a, a drought in terms of wins. So we need to get into winning ways. We're sitting in 11th at the end of this episode, the beginning of this episode, with Naki Wells competing for the top goal scorers. Let's see if we can turn it around here and let's start getting back to winning ways. Let's get on with game number one. Gone up to take the throw well up the field. Well, we've had 20 on. minutes of non-stop no pressure. Edwards whips the ball in. What a header He's from a Gregory. He has gone He's over the bar. It. That was a well, very the nice striker, attempt there from the Gregory. It was going over the bar. It was a lot of power for, for quite a distance out from header in it. We've been off to a very positive start, though, in this opening 20 minutes. Oh, well done, Joel Martin. Oh, he's done well to shimmy as well. He has options. Finds a striker. Oh, my God. And Naki Wells was never in a position to really put, hit that cleanly. He's knocked it well wide of the goal. That he never really was going to get around that properly. Right, half time, it's 0-0, nil, nil. we've dominated, we haven't nil, had any nil. clean chances, but we've been putting high well attacking pressure on them, and I think that's really working and for us. Visitors, they haven't really well, had any decent chances time, at goal, I don't think they've had any at goal, to be fair. Let me check the match facts, yeah, no shots at us, we've dominated, the shooting's been poor all around from us so far, so let's get into the second half and see what happens. I don't want to bring in Morrison just yet, but I definitely... We'll bring him in if needs be. So but I definitely can see a win here. We've killed them for this first half. Oh, that's poor defending. Armstrong got inside. Oh my god, no fucking way. You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me. You're fucking joking. One shot, one goal, which seems to be the problem repeatedly this season. I can't believe this. This is absolute terrible defending. He's whipped the ball in. And Sean Williams has hit it off of Byron Webster by the Let's looks of things. Now. And it's found the path of Joe Cole, who's gone on to score. And so we are now losing this Stale game. I cannot believe in. the amount of luck that we are not receiving. Wells linking up nicely with Morrison. Back to Wells. He can get inside. He can strike it. What a finish, Naki Wells. Never fails to disappoint this boy. Five goals already for Millwall. I can't believe that we had to come back to fight in this game. But Steve Morrison's come on. He's made an instant impact. Getting that assist there for Naki Wells. who struck it beautifully. And he's been and doing that consistently all season. Really Look at this. Lovely little football between the, the two. Runs inside. And what a finish when he gets into the box. Naki Wells never fails to disappoint. Five goals in the Football League one. Yes. Naki Wells Level. makes it 1-1. One, one. And now we can now. go and press for a win. Come on, I'm in full concentration mode right now. This is nice play. No, Jack Powell, no, and it's over. We've ruined the last attack and we've managed to get a draw, which I guess stops the losing streak, but it's not good enough, really. We really should be winning games like this. Dominate it from start to finish. Naki Wells managing to get the equaliser following the stupid defensive error by Byron Webster, I think it was, who took the deflection. Of course, that wasn't his fault. That was Williams' fault for blasting it at him. Joe Cole managed to capitalise on it, and we've now gone 
five games without a win, if I count right, because we were drawing before that. So this is not, not good form for Millwall. Right, so I'm not beating around the bush now. We need to get into these games quicker. And to be honest, we need to get back into winning form. So this is the lineup I've gone with. Same attack, same midfield. Actually, no, I'm going to bring off Gregory for now, bring in Morrison. And the only change I've made is to the defence. Ford starts in goal with Riefel Shammer and Sid Nelson, with Romeo and with Galloway. I've gone with a completely new back four because, to be honest, the problems we've been having are our defensive problems. So it's time for these boys to step up and prove their worth defensively. We're going to go into this game. It's game number two of the episode. We need to get a win and get back into winning ways. Really anticipating something special from him here today. And it's the speed of the of this player, and it's something you can't coach, obviously. When he gets going, when he's a mind to it, he's uh, he's not going to be caught. Mackie Wells is clearly in form, says the commentators. Can well, we, we get here. him more goals? Can we produce a win and get back to winning ways? We are here away to Port Vale. We need side. three points to get back oh, on track. And what looks to up front for oh no, four, and Foley yeah, leading a charge here. Because, uh, got him way too boys. easy. Oh, He's hit the post oh, and missed the open rebound. I the thought side. they'd scored, which is oh, why I sounded target. so depressed. They've hit the post very early on and they skied the open net. I don't know how Leach Smith has missed that, to be honest. We should have been punished there and we didn't get punished, luckily. It's still nil nil, but not a good host. start to this game. It's cut it out. Oh, well done there, Williams. The area now can maybe attack. Right, Morrison starting an attack here. Ben Thompson. Here's can you find Thompson. him again? What a pass from Here's Ben Thompson. He's got to finish that, surely. Oh, my God. What was Morrison doing? Morrison was celebrating before it even went in. Didn't chase it down. And we could have taken the lead there. And instead, he got carried away. That's poor. Go. Naki Wells. Wells. Just run at him. He's not ready for you. Oh, is he onside? He is. Shane Ferguson. What a goal. Naki Wells with the assist. And Shane Ferguson with a fantastic finish there into the bottom corner. We've taken the lead, which I don't think we've done a lot in this current losing streak. We have done it this time. But we have it. Look at that. A perfectly timed pass. And Shane Ferguson finishes beautifully into the, the far-hand side of the goal. What a finish well from taken. Shane Ferguson. I'm not sure if that's his and first that of the season. I don't the think it is. I don't think he might have already had one before. But that is the start we needed to this game. Well, I say start. It's already been a half. But it's been a fantastic first well, half, to be fair. We've defended be well. On. They had their early the spell. The but now. otherwise, we've dominated. It's going to be a good first half if we can keep it this way. Slap some power on it. A bit short, though. But Romeo's found a looping header. And that's another really good chance there. We haven't had many chances in this second half. And that is a very nice header attempt, actually, from Marlon Romeo. Might have got a deflection. No, it's gone for a goal kick. Awesome. And that's full time. Yes, it is. Full time. Millwall win and end the streak. It's fantastic. Honestly, it feels so good to win this game. Naki Wells with the assist there. I'm sure he probably get man of the match. And had another fantastic performance. Actually, my man of the match will go to Shane Ferguson, the goal scorer. Who was a menace well, a on, that game, on that left hand side, and they Got see him goal, being happy and, uh, there. He played fantastically really well. Good Another good game Excellent from Shane performance. Ferguson, but the important part is the winless streak is over. We have won. Shane Ferguson gets man of the match for the goal, deservedly so. Mill will get three points against Port Vale. That is the important thing. Okay, so for the last game in the episode, we are playing the third round of the Capital One Cup. This is the team I've gone with. Archer has one more game to prove himself before Ford becomes first team keeper following that clean sheet from him. Riefel Shammer and Sid Nelson started centre back with Joel Martin and Marlon Romeo as the left and right back. Chris Taylor comes in needing to prove himself after a series of bad performances with Williams and not Thompson. Thompson needs a rest. So we are going to bring in, do we have anyone in midfield to bring in? Jack Powell, who does need to prove himself to me. And then up front, the return of the, the dream partnership of Steve Morrison and Jamie Philpott. And that is the team we're going to go with to end this episode. Let's see if we can make it two wins and a draw for today. No more losses. We need to get back in form. We're doing well in cup football. Um, we did suffer our first loss to Carlisle in the cup, which I believe was JPT. Yeah, it was JPT. But we are making good progress here in the Capital One Cup. Let's see if we can get a run going, and let's end this episode. 
Oh my god. Jordan Archer, are you serious? Why has he run out to punch that? A, when it was out of the box, and B, when Sid Nelson had it completely under control. That is atrocious really, goal. Look at that. that. This should technique. never have happened. A pass from there. That's a beautiful pass. Well, well, what is Jordan Archer doing? Header. That He's just cost enough, us the first the goal of this game. I really was hoping, that was especially with the start so the he had to this season, that we could nil. rely on Jordan Archer. But he has proven to be causing some problems. He's too quick off his line, and that has cost us. Can we get straight back in this, though? Jack Powell trying to create a chance. We're in the box. Can we get the goal back? Come on. Taylor, Taylor. Chris Taylor. Smack it, son. Oh, it's a nice save from the day. And we haven't managed to get that back. And they're probably going to clear the danger. Wait, no, they haven't. They haven't. Upson. Jamie Philpott. Finish that, Morrison. No way have we not scored here. Oh, my goodness. Ref. Oh, well done, Jamie Philpott. He's done well. Upson, back to Philpott. Can Philpott do something here? What the fuck was that? Yo, I'm getting screwed over by FIFA here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at this again. Phil Pot does well. Look at this. Hang on. Can we just see what happens here? What's that? He ain't screwing me over, man. Another chance, maybe. Morrison Stay finds Morrison. Jamie Phil Pot. What can he do? He finds Morrison. Is he on side? He's in. It's a goal. And it... Oh, no. He's offside. A beautiful pass from Phil Pot. A beautiful finish from Morrison. All that was missing was the timing. Inches away. I wanted to see this again because this must well, have been close. Again, well, so oh, very, very close the there. And Millwall nearly equalised well there, well but we haven't taken advantage. Oh, lovely pass. Steve Morris. Can we find one more pass? He has. Shoot! Oh no! Come on! Oh my God! Day is giving the game of his life right now. He's been attacking this whole game. Lovely pass, Jamie Philpott. What a finish! Jamie. Phil Pot equalises, and it's his first goal for me, first goal for Milwaukee. He's got better and better as he's played. I'm actually really happy with how he's played today. A beautiful pass through from Morrison, a beautiful first time finish, and Jamie Phil Pot, the 55 rated striker, gets his first goal for the Capital One Cup, and that equalises this game. And it's full time, it looks like we're going to go to extra time with Newport County somehow. Jamie Philpott equalised. We dominated this game, but Jamie Day, I mean, is it Jamie? Oh, no, it's Day, I know it's Day, has had the game of his freaking life out there. He's been fantastic from start to finish. I don't know who to sub off. We have two subs already, but I don't want to sub on these first team players. Uh, let's bring on Oyedema for a bit of projected speed. Do we have another sub? We do, but I don't really know who I'm going to bring on. Let's bring on Galloway. Can he play up midfield? No. Uh, take him off for Taylor. Taylor is tired. That's going to be the changes for now. Let's just see if we can pull off a win. Because I have a strange feeling. Torn the keepers here. in. It could be going to penalties. This is good. We are killing them with counter attack. Morrison. This is really nice play. Jamie Philpott. Can he return it to Morrison? He can. Forward. This is lovely There's play. Morrison. Try to play it safe to Philpott. Philpott's still going. Oh, no. That really was not a good idea of mine. I should have struck it. Oh, lovely. Edwards has done well. Jamie Philpott. If he can finish this, he'll be a hero. He saves it, but he's rebound, maybe? Oh, Day is too good right now. He's making it. so many saves. Corner coming in. It's a good ball. Sid Nelson. Could still be here with the chance. Carlos Edwards. Good ball to back post. Looking at Morrison. Heavy touch. Foul ref, surely. Waiting on the final whistle right now. And there it is. We are going to penalties with Newport County. And I'm actually really nervous. They've given us a well good fight. Their passing has been phenomenal. And we are actually going to go to penalties. I don't know how confident I am about the penalties. I know Morrison's a good penalty taker. But no one else really is that good at finishing penalties. We'll have to see and try our luck. First penalty is stepping up. And so Aina stepping up to take it. Let's see how hard she can do at penalties. Oh, he's in the post for the first one. Yes. Oh, that relieves the pressure on Millwall. If we can finish that, this is. That's a beautiful penalty from Morrison. We take the lead. All right. His penalty seemed a little rushed to me, but oh well. We carry on anyway. Kulibali stepping up next. We're going to go left. 
Oh, and he nearly got it, Jordan Archer, but that's a clean penalty from Kudamali. Joel Martin, I'm going to go right again. This time, Day hasn't saved the Ivo. It's 2 1. Newell's still ahead. Right, they're striking now, John Lewis. What's he going to do? I'm going to go left again. Wait, no, I'm going right. Oh, what a shame from Jordan Archer! He's had a terrible game to send this to penalties. But he He's saves us there. I'm going right a third face. time. And we've done it. That's 3-1. Right, if we can save this one, then we will be going through. If not, we'll have to rely on the next striker to score. Or whoever's taking. I don't know if it is the striker. He's gone wide! No, it didn't matter in the end because Jordan Archer has saved one. And the two were missed. He flips out in celebration, Jordan Archer. And we have progressed to the fourth round. Is it the fourth round? I'm not sure. I think it's the fourth round, but look at this. A second penalty going wide. And it's a fair distance wide. I can't skip forward. But Mill will have progressed in the next round of the Capital One Cup. Jordan Archer celebrating there as if he actually did anything productive except the penalty save, which I guess was fantastic. Man of the match, there's only one person for it, isn't there? Yep, they made 10 saves in that game. None, unfortunately, for penalties, but we won 3-1. What a dramatic way to end this episode. And that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me that you're supporting this series. We're going to sim up to the day. Just make sure nothing is happening. And next game we will be taking on South End United. So let's hope we can get a win there. I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's try and hit five likes for this episode as we always do. We've had no problem with that so far, so let's continue that streak. And that's it for me today. Peace.